ladies and gentlemen. This is Shiza Hashmi, your host for this event. And I am really, really honored to actually be welcoming you all on behalf of all the collaborators today. This is definitely a historical event. And uh, today we are going to celebrate the transfer of technology and expertise in construction of skyscrapers and high rise buildings and complexes between Italy and Pakistan. I would like to welcome our guest of honors for tonight. His Excellency, the Ambassador of Italy to Pakistan, Mr. Andrea Ferreris. The, His Excellency, Ambassador of Pakistan to Italy, Mr. Johar Salim, the Secretary of Board of Investment, Mrs. Farina Mazar, Mr. Marco Gasamonti, who will be present with us in virtual, of course. He happens to be the Chief Architect of RKA Associate. Mr. Nadeem Khan, the Resident Director at Maxim's Engineering Corporation. And last but not the least, Mr. Junaid Afzal, the CEO of Nova Crew. Now I request you all to please stand in the honor of our national anthems, both Pakistan and Italy's. This initiative of Nova Group first of all is a landmark of course, bringing revolution to the real estate and the construction industry of Pakistan. And I'm pretty sure when I announce this, this is going to be the first time you all hear that the group is initiating to build a skyscraper with the name of Nova One. This, is, this was initially the initiative of the government of Pakistan through CBD Lahore of course. The government then auctioned the plot and established the record of transparency, of course, for the highest selling price for that plot. And now Nova, of course, acquires it. it. Nova One is going to be built there. And it is going to be the tallest skyscraper of Punjab. That is absolutely brilliant. Now, Nova being one of the pioneers of what it is doing today is definitely going to be a household name in the future as well. And it is going to change the skyline of not only Punjab, but eventually Pakistan as well. Nova Group has embarked on a very enticing journey, we call it. We want to contribute towards the socio-economic betterment of Pakistan. And we are in partnership with many other international uh, partners. We want to make it happen. For this purpose, what we are trying to do is, we've been gifted a great land of Pakistan. We are very much in depth where we live. And what we want to do now is with the technology and the transfer of knowledge, we want to take it to the next level. Under the leadership of our chairman, Junaid Afzal Rao, we are not only proactive, but we are on a journey for excellence to make it better, what we want to bring it the better tomorrow. And now, Nova, after joining and doing homework for about one to two months, how to build a skyscraper, rather than being concentrating on their selling policies and selling technologies, they first concentrated on the technology so that they can give you the best of the best designed skyscraper. Imran, you being engineers and have been working with the multinational organizations abroad and you can well imagine even just to design an elevator of a skyscraper. 
There's a company, each company that requires to design the lift, the elevator. We are, we are habitual of going to the 23 stories, 20 stories here in Pakistan. But whenever you are going above 500 feet, look at the air and wind pressure on the building, the sway on the buildings. And Dr. Sabi, as uh, you have been engineering and uh, doing engineering, you, you see what is the terminology over here that we learned in this research with the Nova Group that we have been augmenting the building in Iran with the steel and reinforcement by not realizing that we are going to add up our load onto the hull. Thank you uh, to our friends in Pakistan and thanks to Nova Group to give us the opportunity to think and to realize some piece of art and piece of architecture in Pakistan. For us, it's a really good opportunity, a good experience, and uh, I hope that uh, we can realize very soon uh, the two skyscrapers that we have in mind in the city of Lahore. It's a great opportunity, it's a great uh, also opportunity for the country to develop and to increase the quality in the construction field. And uh, in, in the same time, we need to learn from Pakistan, but also I think we can teach what it means to create an architecture for today and for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Let me give you a quick overview of what CBD is and how we came up with this vision. Uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, Honorable Imran Khan, has inaugurated this authority in March 2021. And it is then where we thought about revamping the urban spaces. Uh, and that was primarily the government unused lands or lands that were underdeveloped uh, into something which is more of a living and working spaces. So that was the initial idea uh, which came in into CBD and we were given the Walton Strip that was uh, an old part of Old Walton Airport and uh, that was removed from there due to security hazards. Now we went on this idea, included some more lands but for us this being the first one was a very challenging project. We wanted to make it successful, uh, wanted to make it different. We sat down as a team, started pondering of what we can add into there and how we can bring in expertise like uh, Nova, Junaid Saab, uh, Nadeem Saab, people like them who are already there in the market, but I think the, they've never worked uh, in sort of a joint venture, how this authority has now managed it through this CBD venture. So my best wishes to Nova One. Um, uh, we wish that you know you have this great success and repeat such investments and such projects in the country. Because you see the housing sector and the construction sector is one sector to which are linked 60 other sectors. So if you make growth investment in this sector, then you are supporting so many other allied industries. Uh, also providing so much job opportunities to the uh, to the you know two million youth which has been added to the uh, population every year so uh, once again i congratulate you my best wishes for all of you and uh, hope that this will uh, be a ripple effect and others investors will also follow and come to pakistan honestly the potential this country has has not been explored it has not been utilized and our dear friend junaid who has the deceptive looks of a man having a stroll in the park, <laughs> but is a very sharp businessman and a very dynamic one. And together, this dynamic duo, I think they make great partners um, and they are going to do some wonderful things for Pakistan. And this is a great start. I'm very glad that this project is taking place in Lahore that is a city that is the city of my childhood. My early childhood was spent in, on Amamalam Road, which is now 
Yes. Full of restaurants. There was a time when we used to race cars on that road. Then on Main, Main Boulevard, Mall One, which you might have visited, was once our home. So it's great to see that city now transforming. And I think it was long overdue because Lahore is such a remarkable city with such a great history, culture, tradition, and some of the most wonderful people you'd meet. And the fact that this collaboration is taking place with Italy, I think it adds to the luster. Because Italy again, is not just a country which was number one in tourism in the world in 2019 and before that. But also it's, it's like a living museum. It's a city with the, some of the greatest designers, artists, and people who appreciate beauty. Most has already been told, so I will add some anecdotes, something of how this was originated. When uh, we discussed uh, the idea of a tower, I had the feeling that uh, the promoters didn't want uh, to make a simple tower. They wanted something special. They wanted something with a special character and uh, something which is national, which is uh, Pakistani, which people in the future will identify as a product of uh, Pakistan and a proud of Pakistan. That's why they approach it to see if they can find in Italy that uh, technology which can fill the existing gaps.